did want to catch on where you were saying the, the exam is a great learning opportunity. Yeah, there's all kinds of evidence. There's this really interesting testing effect. Taking a test improves your learning, period. So there's, uh, there's all kinds of evidence in psychology now where you take two groups of, of subjects. Um, both of them get a vocabulary question, um, question uh, a quiz at the end. Both of them get to see the vocabulary words to learn from, but one group gets a vocabulary test first before they've ever seen the words. They're going to get most of them wrong, but seeing the question primes the knowledge to think, what does that word mean anyway? And then they end up, when they see the words, they learn them better, and they do better than the other group when it comes to the final test. And there's this great work by Michael Lee and Andy Coe with their um, game Gidget, where they're teaching computer science, where they inserted into Gidget um, a multiple choice question. When you solved that problem, how many times did Gidget have to go through that loop? You know, so many, and you have the various choices. One of the surprising results is adding those sort of multiple choice questions got people to play the game longer. Now, why did it get them to play the game longer? Was it more engaging? Did it lead to more reflection? Did they learn more because of the question, which then made them more successful in the later levels? I don't know. It's an open question as to why that had the effect that it did. But adding these, these you know, exactly like an exam question, a multiple choice question, adding that into the game Gidget actually improved gameplay. It made people stick around longer.